So in this project, I'm going to convert this three-way switch into a single pole switch only. So basically, and on top of it, I'm going to install a motion sensor here. So let's see how this project goes. And this is the motion sensor that I will install here. So I have uh, turned off the breaker and I have removed the screws of these outlets and this one also. So the way these uh, three-way switch uh, switches work is that there are three wires, one, two, and three. As you can see, this is a bronze colored screw. This is also a bronze colored screw and this is a black screw. So what this black screw means that the wire connected to this black one, this one, is the live wire and it sends current either through this or through this wire to that other switch to control the turning on and off of light. This is just the ground wire. So for example, when you flip the switch up, the power will go from here to here to that other switch. And that other switch in turn is connected to the light. But if you flip the switch like this, then the power goes from this wire to this wire and then there. So what I have to do is, since I'm not going to use this switch as a three-way switch, all I need to do is connect this live wire to either this or this, and then one of them will be redundant, not used. Since the other side is also going to have power from here, so I'm going to use this black wire because black is always live. So that is what I'm going to do. That is the first step. So this will become redundant. This will not be used. So let's start work. So I have uh, connected the black wire, which was the live wire to the black runner wire, which will be going to that other switch. And now I'll close it. This is the black wire, which is coming from that other switch. So since this black uh, wire is bringing power, so this will be connected to the black wire of this switch because this needs power to run and that will come from here. Just connecting these two. This is the common neutral. It will be now. All the wiring has been done, so let's uh, test it out. I'll put it to auto. And it is not turning on because it is sensing ample ambient light. You can see this is not green. So if I turn it to manual, it has turned on. Auto. Let me try to cover it. It has turned on. And in a few seconds, it will turn off. So the wiring has been completed. Uh, I'll just go back, turn off the breaker and uh, tidy up everything. So the final wiring, the way it looks like is, this is the common, this is the uh, wire which is going to the load. It is getting connected to both the wires, as you can see, which were earlier on going to the load, the both runner wires, the black and red. Yeah, and it has turned off. And the white is getting connected to the common. So I'll just tidy up everything and then show you the final result. So everything has been done. Now I'll just walk into the mudroom and see how quickly it responds. You can adjust the on time through this rear stack knob. So if you turn it clockwise, the time increases, turn it anti-clockwise and the time decreases. This is auto, the middle is off. If you turn it to the extreme left position, that is constant on. So I'll put it on auto. This switch is now redundant. It is not doing anything. All the wires have been capped off. And I have adjusted its uh, time on through this screw for 20 seconds. So basically, whenever it detects any motion, it will turn on for 20 seconds. 
and um, I have found it to be working fine. So the final step is to insert this lid here. It has got three notches, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then it will close it from here. So this is what the final result looks like. Thanks for watching.